making a feature debut with a post-apocalypse film produced by Roland Emmerich. Uh, how did it happen? The story is that at the beginning I wanted to do a um, zombie movie. Like, um, so at film school, people kind of laughed at me and they were like, oh, yeah, zombie movie, what, what do you want with this? And so I shot a little test sequence of about um, three minutes, just to show it around and to say, I want to do this, but in long, you know, to show it around to producers. And and, uh, uh, and so the, one of the producers, Thomas Wöpke, um came on board because he saw the movie and he thought he might be, um, he wanted to d develop something. And he just said, yeah, but let's forget about the zombies. Let's try to find something else. So that's where we came up with another scenario. And so um, my producers and um, Roland Emmerich, they've been friends for a long time. They studied together. My other producer, Gabriele Walter, she produced his uh, first movie at film school. So they just sent um, Roland Emmerich my, uh, the, the script we had and the, my DVD with the short films. And yeah, we were lucky. He said, yeah, it's interesting. And he wanted to support us. Do you miss the zombies today? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually I'm glad that it made that kind of uh, development um, away from the zombies. But I think I'm still not over with the zombies. And I like it. OK, um, many post-apocalyptic stories share narrative elements. Uh, I mean, the journey towards a safer place or a safe haven. How did you go about to make hell unique story-wise? Um, to be honest, I guess story-wise, it's not so unique or so something so new. It's like it follows like kind of genre rules, and it's. But what we wanted to do is like two things what, uh, to make it unique. We wanted to have this apocalyptic movie, but tell it like really make it a really personal story, just told through the perspective of one person. A woman. That was also like uh, at the beginning very clear that it has to be a, a woman, and that we have this the whole changement of the world. We only show it like through her eyes, you know. So uh, to make it very personal. And the other thing is that I hope uh, you will see tomorrow that on the on the visual um, level we have uh, something new, like the whole thing with the sun. You know, the the thing is that the the sun is getting like harder and lighter. So that's also, by the way, that's where, where the title comes from. The word hell, it has, um, in German language, it has another meaning. It doesn't, it is an adverb and it means, I learned it already in Swedish, it means use. Mm. You know, if the sun is like really bright and light, if, that's right, use? Yeah, use. Use. So that what it, that's what it means in German, the title. Mm. So it's not only hell, like it has this double meaning and it makes sense because the film is like, the, the sun is like really hot and the pictures are overexposed. So I hope that, um, uh, that on the visual level, I thought the DP, Markus Förderer, he did a great uh, job and I uh, hope that on the visual level it is something new or striking. How did you use the light to create the tension and the atmosphere that you I guess that you expect from a genre film. Yeah, that's interesting uh, that you mentioned that because that was the same, same that also I thought was interesting at the beginning when we came up with the light and the sun because it was never about making a, a, a political movie or something about climate change. The movie is just, that's an important subject, you know, but it, the movie is just entertainment. It just uses that. Uh, what, w what was interesting for me was not the things I read about in newspapers about climate change, so, but what got me was like the idea of playing with light and shadow and uh, when, when we were thinking about the sun I immediately saw pictures and what you were mentioning that um, in horror movies you're used to that the dark is dangerous. No? Uh, but um, but um, uh, in this case it's the opposite. The light is the, is the dangerous stuff. So they kind of like, kind of living like, like vampires. You know? The genre of post-apocalypse films are, it's very much Americanized. Mm -hmm. uh, why move it to a German, German setting? I thought that was the idea also at the beginning that also maybe a point that makes the film, uh, what you said, uh, unique is that it's not happening in some desert in Texas with uh, American actors. It should feel, we wanted it to make 
could feel very German or very Europe, you know, not not American. That was very important. I don't know why. This was just the, the, the idea at the beginning. We were also thinking about shooting the film in English because you can reach a much wider audience. But I uh, insisted on doing it in German because I just felt that it's it might be something yeah else for some time. Mm. So do you have a next project in line? No, not yet. Uh, so it's my first movie, and I'm kind of enjoying this right now. What's what's happening? Um, to and uh, I haven't had really the time to think about. It. But I have some ideas. It's not going to be a comedy. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, I look forward to watch your film tomorrow yes. at Horror Night. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs>